Hey everybody, so today I'm doing this really feminine and girly uh, pink look and I really love it. I think it's perfect for spring and summer when you want to wear color but not a lot of color. So I hope that you all enjoy this tutorial and if you'd like to see how to do this look then just keep on watching. I'm going to start off by priming my eyes and I'm using Eyeshow by Dior which is just a gorgeous kind of champagne shimmery base and I'm going to apply this with my 242 brush by MAC. So you just want to apply it all over the eyelid. So to do my eyes today, I'm taking my Estee Lauder Signature 5 Tone Shimmer Powder for eyes, cheeks, and face. And this is in 01 Pink Shimmer. So I'm going to start off with my 239 and I'm going to go into this really pretty light peachy color um, just right under the white so I'm just going to pack that on the brush and then you just want to tap off the excess and apply it right to the inner corner once you do that I'm going to flip the brush over and go into this baby pink near the bottom here and just get that on the brush and tap off the excess and apply this to the second half of the eyelid like this and just try and pat it on so you don't get any fallout now I'm going to use my 217 and I'm going to go into this middle color right here which is just a really pretty rosy pink color so I'm just going to swirl my brush in that and then you want to tap off the excess and we're going to apply this right to the hollow of the crease. Just to deepen up the crease and add a little bit more color, I'm going to go into this darker hot pink at the very corner here with a 219 brush. So I'm just going to dip my brush in this like this. Tap off the excess and just apply it right to the hollow of the crease here. and then blend it up towards the rosy pink. Okay, so once you've built the color up to kind of a more hot pink color, we're gonna move on to our highlight. So I'm gonna go into this really nice white color with a 213. Just get that on the brush, top off the excess, and I'm gonna apply it right under my brow. Just like that. Get a little bit more and apply it right to this inner corner like this just to brighten up the eyes a bit. This next step is optional, but I'm going to go back to this kind of peachy light pink color and on a 266 I'm going to get that on my brush and apply it right to my lower lash line. And I just think it like, ties everything together really nicely and it adds a little bit of color. Okay, so that's all for the eyeshadow. Now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. So the mascara I'm going to be using today is my Lancome Hypnose, and I really like this. I think it just lengthens my lashes really nice. So I'm just going to get that and apply it to the lashes. Alright, so once you've finished off with your eyes, we're going to move on to our cheeks and I'm going to start off with my Pink Leopard Bronzer by Too Faced and I'm going to apply this using a 188, so I'm just going to get that on the brush and then I'm going to run this right on the tops of my cheekbones and I've already done this but I'll add a little bit more and I feel like the Pink Leopard Bronzer works best if you have um, medium to dark skin tones. I think it just looks so so pretty and I love it. Now I'm going to move on to my cheeks and I'm going to be using the same compact. You could even use this to highlight your cheekbones with the um, lighter colors here. But I'm going to take this on a 116 and I'm going to swirl it towards this bottom area where the hot pink is. Tap off my brush and apply it right to the apples and then blend it back. So to finish off the look, I'm going to take my MAC Super Gloss in Totally Bang, which was limited edition, but any hot pink lip gloss will work. And I'm just going to apply this to my lips. 
Okay, so I just zoomed in a little bit more so you could just see the finished results. I love the lip for this look. I think that it just ties everything together so nice because you kind of have a softer pink eye but then these bolder pink lips and I really love it. So this is the completed look. I really like it for springtime and summertime. It's very feminine and girly so I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!